here. And this is the Wayback Machine for traveling through time. And this is my boy, Sherman. Speak, Sherman. Hello. Good boy. And today we visit Napoleon. No kidding, Mr. Peabody. I never kid, Sherman. Time? About 1810. Place? Paris. Hmm. The way back was working beautifully. We were teleported right into Napoleon's chambers. He wasn't exactly dressed to receive visitors. Who is there? Oh, you are from the Secret Service? Why, sire, is something amiss? Of course, they are gone. What are gone? The Imperial braces. Huh? The Emperor means his suspenders are missing. Oui. But why are they so important? <laughs> Because they hold up my pants up. Crushing logic, sire. You can't be an emperor without suspenders? Of course not. If I try to draw my sword, see, I cannot order the troops forward. I cannot even salute. And as for making a speech, impossible. Well, why don't you get another pair? Because I am the emperor. I must wear only the imperial suspenders. Sire, who besides you has access to your wardrobe? Only my ever faithful servant, Pierre Lecomo. And where is he? They come to think of it. I haven't seen him lately. Find Pierre, and you'll find the missing suspenders. But where? There! Yes, through the palace window, Sherman had spotted a skulking figure moving toward the gate. Come on, Mr. Peabody! My dear boy, I'm a genius, not a track star. He went this way, toward the docks. In a trice, we were on the docks. Look, that ship's leaving. We'll lose them. I doubt that. <laughs> When the ship pulled to a stop, Sherman and I made our way to a porthole. Inside was Pierre Lacomo and his conspirators. On the table between them were the royal suspenders. You have done your work well, Pierre. Nothing. When our generals see this, they will know Napoleon is helpless. And they will attack. Then France will fall. Like Napoleon's pants. <laughs> <laughs> But, Pierre, the table is moving. How come? It's simply the rolling of the ship, gentlemen. Yes, it's the rolling of... But after them! Well, we got the suspenders. Let's run! Unfortunately, we ran in opposite directions. But it was just as well. Quickly! Unless we get those suspenders, our plot is doomed. I've got this one cornered. Peekaboo. Ooh, give me back my sword, you! Oh, very well. <laughs> How's everything, Sherman? Just fine, Mr. Peabody. That's nice. Ah, 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 ah. It's not sporting, you know. Who cares? I'm going to get you if it's the last thing I do. What do you know? It was the last thing. You little pest. I'm going to feed you to the sharks. Be calm, Sherman. My guidebook says there are no sharks in these waters. Goodbye, you brat. Monsieur Lacomo, you seem to have cut the hawser. But when I go, he goes. Not necessarily. <laughs> And as the rope parted, Sherman dangled at one end of the Emperor's braces, while Pierre Lacomo fell into the murky water. My, seems the guidebook was wrong about those sharks. Well, now to return these to Napoleon and receive the thanks of the happy populace. They don't look happy. Something the matter? Please, Monsieur Peabody. Don't take the Emperor's suspenders back. Why not? Because it is the first day in 33 years there has been peace and quiet in France. The first day the cannons have been silent. No boom, boom, boom. For years our people have had to go around with their fingers in their ears. It's the first time I've seen my daddy in 33 years, too. And who is your daddy? Napoleon. Well, we had kept the suspenders from falling into the hands of France's enemies, but there really didn't seem to be any reason for returning them to Napoleon either. And so we didn't. There they are. That's why in all the pictures of Napoleon, his hand is inside his coat. He's really holding up the imperial pants. Thank <laughs> you.